I think what we want to talk about is early influences and what got us started. Mm. Because I know you picked your first choice is G. Vincent. Yeah. It was the first record I bought, you know, and in those days, I think this with the Beatles, you know, it, it made us realize how special it is for people to buy records because we didn't have much money and you'd, you'd, you'd think about your purchase. They were go really down, precious, weren't they? So precious, man. It was all your money. That week would go on that, that record. And then it got passed around to all your mates. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where's yeah. my record? And then yeah. did you get it back? Ah. Not always. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. No, I didn't. You didn't normally. But, um, yeah, so I loved it, you know, June Vincent. It was in the film The Girl Can't Help It. And Fabulous we, we film. finally, yeah, one of my favourite films still. But, um, yeah, we finally saw him sing, you know, with the blue caps and stuff. Yeah. So I just loved it. It's just such a beautiful record, you know. I just was at the Hall of Fame in Cleveland and the blue caps got inducted, okay. which was, uh, you know, really... Uh, fitting, and I thought, yeah. oh, about time. All these old blokes were fabulous. Yeah. And uh, so did the Comets from Bill Haley. Haley's Comets, yeah. And, yeah, and the Miracles. Lots of um, little bands that deserved little bands, you know, but yeah. they, they meant a lot, and they, they really carved a lot for us to be influenced by. So yeah. um, Paul wanted to play uh, Bebop Balula. Oh, yeah. When, yeah. Did you, when did you play with Gene? I went to watch him at the... Um, Agin Court Ballroom out in the in Camberley, out right. in the sticks. But I went back to the dressing room and he was telling me stories about Peter Grant being a doorman at the Astor and how he had him at gunpoint on his yeah. knees, lick Lot my of boots. Play. Yeah, oh, yeah. He made him lick his boots and everything. It's a really <laughs> hilarious story. Oh, yeah. was like, get me out of this dressing room. Yeah, I know. We had an incident like that in Hamburg where he thought his girlfriend was cheating on him. So he asked us to go back to the hotel with him. And he's knocking on the door. Margie, Margie. We're going, you're going to have to talk a bit louder, Gene, because he's got this little voice, you know. He's knocking on the door. He's going, Margie, you in there? We said, knock louder, knock louder. He goes, Margie? He says, she's in there, you know. She's in there with a man. Well, then she finally comes to the door. She's got her rollers in. She's not in there with anyone. He's just making it up. And he comes in, he's fuming, he's talking. He's early telling, paranoia. Telling, early paranoia. He goes to his little bedside table, he pulls out a pistol. Yeah. We're going, see you, Gene. Yeah. That's never, it, man. Never love, leave home without one. Love your music. <laughs> you sort this out. Yeah, you know? love you.